Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Anti DG, our happy place. Um, please, if you have not subscribed till now, do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, in my channel, I would be sharing a lot of uh, my lifestyle, uh, my everyday routine, organization, and everything about Canada. Uh, right now, I'm in India, uh, and I'm at my parents' place. Uh, waiting for the international airspace to open so that I can go back uh, to Canada. It's been like uh, five months that I have been in India and uh, that's the, that is the reason I'm making this video. It's not a vlog video. Um, uh, as you must have known that the government has started the Vande Bharat flights uh, from Delhi to Toronto or uh, anywhere in the US. There are a few places in the US uh, where uh, uh, the uh, Vande Bharat flights are going and uh, many people are availing these Vande Bharat flights. These have started from the 1st of June and the phase 3 is ending off on the 30th of June. I do not know if there would be a phase 4 or not. Uh, it all depends on the uh, airport authority what they are planning to do after June. Uh, so yeah, uh, so just I'll give you a background of what uh, what my situation currently is uh, just uh, uh, before I start this flight is for uh, the Canadian citizens the PR holders those who have COPRs um, have the work permit holders people on student visa so uh, yeah I'll let you know step by step uh, the new guidelines that have been issued by the airport authority uh, for uh, flying during these uh, trying times uh, so yeah, uh, my situation here is uh, I have been here for the past six months, almost six months now. And yeah, because of the uh, entire COVID situation and the cases, uh, the, rise, the number of rising cases and everything else, um, yeah, traveling is not advised until and unless it's very, very important, necessary. Uh, leisure most people are not doing uh, leisure traveling i do not think that anybody is doing leisure traveling uh, but uh, yeah uh, i just wanted to make this video to inform everybody who is in my shoes uh, like uh, who is a canadian citizen or a pr or a uh, work permit holder student visa holder who wants to go back to canada and who is not able to go right now or who or that person who has booked a vande bharat flight and is uh, and uh, is uh, waiting to go uh, so this these guidelines are for those uh, people so first and foremost please download the arogya setu app uh, this will tell uh, you whoever uh, has been infected um, around you within like say two kilometers 10 kilometers five kilometers there is a this is a very good app a very good initiative which has been taken by the government of india uh, and they would uh, uh, the authorities at the airport would ask you to show this uh, arogya setu app so it's important that you download these apps uh, this app sorry uh, and uh, yeah now, so uh, let's start with uh, uh, this uh, whole video is for those people who are going to board the Vande Bharat flights and um, who are waiting uh, who would be going to the Delhi airport uh, so just so that there is no disappointment when when you reach the airport uh, you should know that uh, uh, these are the things which you can expect also uh, if you are carrying if you are going with an infant i'll make a uh, i'll make another video about uh, what to expect when you are going with an infant so if you are going with an infant or uh, you have toddlers then uh, and you and you are uh, you know you don't have your spouse to help you because i'm in the that shoe uh, my i have two kids who are toddlers and i have i will be traveling alone from uh, raipur to delhi so i'll tell you what to expect when you go to the airport um, uh, right now uh, let us uh, start with the points uh, which are like uh, most common questions which people have uh, when they um, go to the airport or before going to the airport uh, to board these flights so my first uh, i have made so just so you know that uh, i am a part of this whatsapp group uh, i'll share the link in the description box below uh, 
so you please go and check it out and if you are uh, uh, in uh, if you are uh, here stranded here in india and you want to know more like uh, these groups uh, this group is uh, basically formed by people like us uh, and uh, we keep brainstorming and we the, we keep uh, putting in new um, uh, news items that are uh, coming just related to all the flights the air india vande uh, bharat uh, uh, mission that is going on so um just so that uh, just so that you are info informed updated just uh, go to the link below and um, join this whatsapp group uh, it's very very informative and uh, what i'm going to tell you is the real time experience of uh, somebody who has already reached toronto Uh, boarding the vande bharat flight so all of you those who are planning to go to toronto or any other destination in the us it's very very important that you be aware of what you can expect when you go to the delhi airport uh, to board these flights first and foremost is uh, what to expect uh, in terms of uh, luggage when you go for the vande bharat flight so you are allowed uh, to carry two check in baggages per person 23 kgs each one carry on baggage one laptop bag one 1 one liter of uh, water bottle per person and one food bag one food bag because no food courts are open in the delhi airport except for cafe coffee day just remember this that also cafe coffee day will not give you fresh and warm food uh, i personally do not eat food from outside now uh, but it's up to you if you would want to buy something some dry chips or anything from um cafe coffee day there but it's advisable that you take your own food from home so uh the next question that most people have is uh, uh what about the waiting time now people who have to wait for 5 hours plus 5 5 plus hours in the airport to catch your uh, flight uh most of them try to look out for uh, the lounges but then if you go to the leather if you go and uh, want to sit in the leather seat in the lounge you have to pay 2600 uh, inr so it's better that you sit in the recliners that are available uh, zero cost for the recliners so yeah uh, those people who have who have to wait please choose the recliners because then you are saving a lot of money like that also the third question that most people have is what are the documents that need to be filled before boarding the air india vande bharat flights now there are two documents that you would need to uh, fill up uh, one document is the air india indemnity form and the other document is the deportation form now the air india indemnity form and the deportation form there are uh, links in the air india website where you can go and download these forms and fill it up and take it but then uh, the airport authorities there would be giving you these forms so uh, i suggest that you do not download all these forms and take print outs and fill beforehand you just go there take a take a pen with you go there and fill it up and give it to them now uh, the third and the most important thing is uh, merging pnrs so uh, there might there might be many of you who would be traveling from other places like i would be traveling from raipur when my turn comes i haven't booked the vande bharat flights yet uh, so i'm just waiting uh, to see what happens in july if the international air space opens or not but still uh, i have people i have acquaintances friends who have booked their flights for the 29th um of uh, this month so 29th of june and uh, they would be flying so th this is for those people who are flying from who are not from delhi who are not flying uh, who don't reside in delhi who are flying from other places like kolkata or hyderabad or bangalore or any other place and going to delhi so if you have a flight booked with a domestic air india carrier uh, you can merge your pnrs you can merge your pnrs with uh, uh, the air india vande bharat flight because uh, both of your flights would be operated by air india uh, if you are traveling from uh, your uh, place of origin to uh, to delhi via indigo air asia or any other uh, private airlines you cannot obviously merge your pnrs so you can merge your pnrs but for merging your pnrs do not do web check in if you web check in then you cannot merge your pnrs so very very important if you want to merge both your domestic flight air india domestic flight and air india vande bharat international flight then you do not do web check in uh, you can go and tell the airport authorities uh, the person who at the ticket counter 
who would be sitting at the counter that you would want to merge your PNRs, um, uh, the domestic counter, obviously, before flying, then that person would be helpful enough uh, to do that for you, to merge your PNRs. Because, and um, I just wanted to reiterate, uh, this has been a real-time experience. Uh, this has been shared by somebody who uh, flown from who has, who has flown from Hyderabad to uh, Toronto. So, yeah. So there is a facility of merging the PNRs. You just have to go and tell the people, um, the authorities involved there, that yeah, um, please merge my PNR. Please do not do web check-in if you need to merge your PNRs. Just remember that. The next uh, and the most important point I feel at this point of time is availability of PPE kit. So if you are uh, um, going, obviously the airport authorities uh, are very very well prepared just to tell you uh, with the sanit the sanitary measures the uh, sanitization of the trolleys and everything else inside the aircraft it's very very good so uh, the airport authorities will be giving you ppe kits they they will give you air india will give you masks face shield and uh, sanitizers sachet to carry with you but uh, I think if you are sitting sitting in the middle seat, I'm not sure about this part. You will have to wear the full PPE kit. I'm not sure if uh, you just have to check about the sitting in the middle seat. Now food courts. Just uh, just so that you know that uh, uh, the food courts uh, in the Delhi airport are not operational at this point of time. Only cafe coffee day is operational, as I said before. So if you are some uh, traveling, uh, this would be a very, very long flight, right? So uh, I suggest that you prepare something from home and take it. Uh, that won't, would not be counted as a baggage. You can ca take, carry food and that would be separate. So do not worry, you can take food and um, take whatever you want. Uh, prepare from home and take it because otherwise you will have to eat dry, dry chips and uh, all those uh, junk material which obviously would not want at this point of time. Um, I personally do not want to eat from outside at the, at, during these days. So uh, when my time comes to go, I would be packing stuff and uh, packing food from home and going because I have two toddlers. So I would have to pack from home and go. So also um, remember no food courts are open and Air India will provide you a, uh, you a dry food packet before you board the flight that would be one one and a half hours before boarding the flight. So um, just again uh, I'll say Air India will provide you a dry fo food packet one and one and a half hours before boarding the flight but again my suggestion is pack your own food. Now, these are all the points that I have jotted down. Um, again, I'm saying that I will be sharing the link of the WhatsApp group that I am in um, below the, in the description box. And uh, you can see what uh, uh, you can just join that group and uh, ask the admin to add you and all. Uh, I will send this link uh, uh, by... Um, by a friend of mine who is in a similar position like me and uh, till now it has been very very informative um, you it's it keeps uh, they keep updating stuff on daily hourly basis like because I think everybody a lot of us are uh, here in India right now because of the situation um, like we cannot blame anybody in this situation so because of the situation many of us uh, many people are stranded so they would they want to go back home ASAP and this is a very very good initiative that has been taken up by the government of India. So I think um, yeah if you join the group uh, it would be very beneficial for you. Now uh, what about the in-flight uh, food pantry service? So just to let you know there would be no pantry service inside the flight please do not ex expect that the uh, cabin crew would come and give you tea coffee drinks etc that is not going to happen when you go you would be uh, there would be a food dry food packet placed in the on your seat right and that would be the only food packet that would be uh, uh, given to you from your uh, for your entire flight so so just don't expect that uh, they would be uh, serving you uh, like used it used to happen before dur uh, during the normal times so and if you have finished your water then you can go to the pantry and grab the water and come back uh, also it's advised that uh, movement is not allowed and also uh, 
about in flight and en entertainment there is no in flight and en entertainment so i suggest that you download something from netflix amazon prime disney hotstar etc and um, download it in your mobile devices if you have kids download your uh, paw patrol or any other uh, pj mask or any other thing which they which would keep them entertained because roaming around in the aisle uh, is not advisable it's not allowed uh, i can share my experience while coming from uh, toronto uh, to delhi my kids were very very uh, they wanted to move around a lot but right now because of the situation i cannot allow that to happen so it's better that uh, to keep them engaged personally i would be downloading stuff from netflix which they like um and uh, some cartoons or something so, so so as to keep them engaged i'll also download some movies or anything else which would keep me entertained throughout the flight because uh note there would be no in flight entertainment now if both your both of your flights are air india flight like your uh, domestic flight is air, operated by air india and obviously the international flight is being operated by air india where will the immigration happen the immigration will happen at the domestic airport that is the airport of your origin so you just have to tell them that uh, i am boarding uh, obviously they know that i'm you're boarding the air india international flights uh, flight so just tell them that uh, uh do the immigration they will do it the airport authorities will do it also very very important thing uh, please carry your own blankets inside the flight nothing of that sort is given is being given at this uh, point of time uh, no blankets no nothing and uh, if possible carry the shoulder rest uh, which is easily available in any of the markets so yeah please carry your own blankets and your shoulder rest now the next question is uh, do we need a health certificate uh, suggesting that uh, we are covid free no we do not need a health certificate for uh, boarding any of these flights uh, i'm sure they would be checking in before letting you in they will be checking the temperature through the thermal um, uh, thing that the temperature thermometer which the, which uh, which the no contact thermometer i think so i'm sure about it actually so you do not have to take a health certificate to prove that you are covid free no so do we need to uh, download the arogya setu app i suggest that uh, you need to down you should download the arogya setu app uh, uh, just in case but uh, this this person who traveled from hyderabad he is he is saying that no this is not required for these flights because uh, i think he was not asked about this but I, it is good to have it right so in case uh, at the, so that in the last moment you are not in a jiffy that oh my god i have to download the app now and you just to avoid confusions later okay how many uh, how much sanitizer is allowed to be carried in these flights like uh, how many ml of sanitizer would be allowed to be carried in these flights uh, 350 ml of sanitizer is allowed uh, you can carry 350 ml of sanitizers uh, uh, most of the flight before flights before this had regulations that uh, you cannot carry liquid uh, above 100 ml but that is not the case in this case uh, you can carry 350 ml of sanitizer with you and uh, can we carry food of course you can carry food and food will not be counted as a check in or a check in baggage cabin baggage uh, sorry so you can carry as much food as you want it is suggested that you carry food in order to avoid uh, you know they will be just providing one dry packet of food that would be mostly chips and all a friend of mine flew from chicago to hyderabad um uh, through this vande bharat flight so yeah she said that you no know, you know please carry your it's better to carry your own food especially if you have kids and toddlers i will be making a separate video on what to do uh, this is for uh, this would video would be for all the mothers who who are traveling with their kids like what to do when you uh, when you are uh, getting with uh, when you are going with a kid in any of these flights what can you expect so i would be making a video a separate video on that very soon and i would be uploading it now um quarantine plan in canada if you are going to toronto you it is mandatory for you to have a quarantine plan uh, you have to quarantine for 14 days um, you should have a place for that right so uh, in my case uh, case i live in toronto i have a house there so i would be quarantine i would be in quarantine with my kids when i go there 
for 14 days it's a mandate or the authorities will call you uh, again uh, i would be making a separate video on that my next video would be a uh, domestic to international transfer step by step process so stay tuned for this please if you like subscribe and share my video uh, i would personally be very very grateful as a small youtuber it would be encouraging for me uh, to make more videos with good content uh, i just uh, just subscribe and click the bell icon uh, my channel's name is Atty DGR Happy Place, and uh, my next videos would mostly be on these uh, processes about the Vande Bharat flights and uh, uh, all these things. Also, I would share my experience with uh, ROCA, that is the registration of Canadian citizens, uh, which happened uh, a couple of months ago when uh, Air Canada was, I think, taking away, uh, uh, was flying. Uh, people out or i think air india was flying people out i'm not sure i'll have to look up so yeah if you are a canadian citizen please uh, register in roca it is very very important go to the embassy website uh, Canada, uh, embassy website and register yourself so yeah i would uh, and also uh, in the in my next video, uh, video i would link all the uh, details the phone numbers and everything in this video i will be sharing the air india uh, phone number if you need to call up the uh, call up air india also uh, last but not the least for booking these flights the best time to book this these uh, mande bharat flights when the uh, uh, when the click rate is very very low is 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, the chances are the possibilities of you getting a ticket on these flights uh, or you getting booked in these flights would be much higher than um, if you try to book it at some other time uh, during the day so with this uh, I would be signing off right now thanks for watching uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel uh, it's at DG, my happy place our happy place also I would be I would keep posting other contents like uh, quick recipes uh, then reviews then hauls uh, etc etc but at this point of time i felt that this is very very important this should go out for those people there are thousands of people like us who are uh, wanting to you know waiting for so so long to go back to catch these flights and there are so many of us who have booked these flights so it's better to know the protocols uh, of what to expect uh, when you go to board the to board the vande bharat flights thank you jai hind